I say this to my bill collectors all the time. It's like, this is my home. <laughs> exactly. Leave me alone. No, my balls are in a dire situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to relieve myself. Let all the tension out and we'll deal with the, with the rule break after. Five grand to not have sex for a full month yeah. when you're on an island with the most beautiful women they could find. Are there drinks included? Yeah. Yes. And I wouldn't make it. <laughs> Slide to bed with us starting right now. <laughs> Welcome to Nightly Pop. You guys, Morgan is off tonight, so Lonnie Love is back. Yeah. Just call me BP, bench player, okay? I'm feeling when I need oh, to. Oh, I thought you said bitch. No, oh, I, I was like, Lonnie, too. why are you saying that about yourself? <laughs> I like that. Well, Hunter has missed your clapping, I will say. Oh, oh my gosh. He, he needs that clapping more than I ever thought he would, Lonnie. Oh, oh boy. You get Feed his soul, please. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get into it because Cardi B just announced baby number two in the very most Cardi way possible. Lonnie is clapping for the baby. Yes. Uh, last night, Cardi unveiled her bump at the BET Awards, and then she went ahead and dropped it low in heels. All I do is pop. Oh. Oh. Watch her drop it. music playing when we oh, come in every yeah. now and then. I was loving that. that. dance to that, hunty. He because don't know how. I would get made fun of immediately. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. This yeah, I was drop it. Come on, come on, come on, do it. You should drop on. it. Come on, come on. No, drop it. Uh, my hunty. pants, my drop pants. Drop it. Was... Come, come on, on and drop, drop it. it. Okay. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. That is a squat. <laughs> Why is this a drop? Why is this a drop? You literally squat. Show me. Yeah. <laughs> I have never wanted to be Nina's chair no, more than up. right now. That's, that was awesome. Cardi got us all dropping it, uh, but we don't have no babies, so. It's no. the energy that she had, and somebody has been having pandemic sex with oh. it. Uh, she looks really cute up there, by the way, with oh. the little bump and everything. Just gorgeous. Uh, Y'all don't try this at home, though, because we definitely almost just broke something, so. You see, I'm still breathing <laughs> hard. Do you know how hard it is to drop it and have hair down to the floor? Girl! Like, you could have easily tripped. <laughs> and one of her dancers, when she came out, I don't know if y'all could slow it down, but her tracks came out because she was bumping so oh, hard. Oh, really? Here she come. I know. Now, look. Oh, right there. Oh. I mean, oh, it didn't come out. <laughs> oh, you're right. It's on the floor. <laughs> it's on the floor. Yeah, oh, yeah. And that girl just kept she going. She kept going, baby. That's what you do. I heard that. She That's what she did. When my come off, I do the you same just keep thing. Going. Just yes, keep going. girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this sounds very intimate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Speaking of Cardi, she was a little too worn out to accept her Video of the Year award for WAP. So Meg Thee Stallion accepted in her place. How nice. Which is amazing. <laughs> but unfortunately, she forgot to thank Cardi. No. It's Cardi's song. Meg was featured. So Cardi fans were not having it. They were pissed. Uh, take a look at some of these tweets that were coming oh for her. Uh, some of them. One said, I'm trying to figure out why Meg ain't mentioned Cardi when she accepted the award. It's Cardi's song. Uh, thinking face, thinking face, thinking face. Oh. Um, another one said, I don't want to read into it too much, but make no mention of Cardi. Uh, weird. Okay, so you guys, <laughs> thoughts? Okay, I think she, she did say, she said she only had two minutes yeah. to change over because yeah. she had just performed and she had to change it to that dress and that dress was a lot. I think okay? she should have just stayed in what she performed in to accept the award instead of changing. Exactly. You but know? she wanted to change. Right. You know what I mean? And so, so she was rushed and she was a little... And then, and, and then you got to think, all that issues that's happening backstage, you had the baby back there. Yeah. And we know what they done went through. So it was probably a lot going on in her mind. She did come back. Yes. And she did say, you know. Oh, let's show people, actually. We okay. have Meg clearing everything up, y'all. <laughs> now that my breath is caught and I can talk about it, I really forgot to say thank you, Cardi, for even putting me on WAP. Because it made me feel so good to be acknowledged by one of my peers who I think so highly of. See, this would be like if Hunter and I came on The Real and, and that episode won the Emmy and you couldn't be there and we thank ourselves and don't say nothing to Lonnie. Lonnie would be like, excuse you, I invited y'all bitches on The Real. 
so you no, know, I would be like, oh. I would have known it was something. Yeah. Now, I know my hunty, he yes. wouldn't forget me. No, but never. maybe you get overwhelmed. Yeah. And I know that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just, I, you can tell she was breathing hard. It was yeah. a lot happening, you know? So yeah. she, she cleaned it up. She I'm glad up. she won. Because yes. if she hadn't won, she, she wouldn't have got been the able opportunity. to clean. Exactly. No, she had right. a Kanye West her way up there yeah. and I'm just be like. You had the best album, but I do want to say thank you to Cardi. Cardi. Okay, you guys. Now let's talk about someone else who's trying to kick people out because it's Justin Bieber. He had to lay down some boundaries with his fans. A TikTok user shared a video of people waiting outside of Justin's apartment. He had to calmly tell them this was not the move. This is my home. You know what I mean? This is where I live. I don't appreciate you guys being here. You guys can be anywhere I please my home, you know? That's where I, you know, at the end of the night when you come home, mm -hmm. you want to relax. Tell they ass, you Justin. Tell them. Yes, rub your uh, stomach. Not even <laughs> You guys, uh, he did this whole, like, calm, you know, explanation. And at the end, someone says, can I get a hug? Uh, uh, what? He seemed Miss like lady. He, needed, he seemed like he needed a hug. Uh, That's the result. Like, did you not I get it. anything? I'm just, I'm pretty impressed with how brave those girls are to go up to a genuine blood like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> pretty intense. You're crazy. <laughs> I just want to say I say this to my my bill collectors all the time. It's like this is my home. Please, just exactly. leave me alone. Just leave me, leave just me, please, this stop is my me. Home. Leave me alone. You have you know fan pages and you have fans who DM you all the time. Have you ever been worried about your safety? No, but I I have neighbors now. I'm very close to my neighbors, my little community I moved into, and they have children, and their children all know me from Sugar Rush. So like, if they have nieces or nephews come over, they always go. I get texts being like, "Can you come oh, over and say hi?" Cute. And I go, "Don't you ever f text me again, <laughs> okay? Just because your kid's a fan of the show, I don't give a. F oh this my is my gosh. house. This is my job. <laughs> anyway, you guys, let's talk about some rules, shall we? Because if you were thinking about calling Diddy. You better follow these rules. He posted a video explaining what you bet not do. Don't call me mother not trying to talk to me, find out some talk about some gossip. Don't call me with no bad news. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't calling me to uplift me, if you ain't calling me to, to I'm not 911, I'm not in the mood. Don't call me unless there's some love on the other end of the phone. Matter of fact, I'm working. I don't want nobody to call me. You know what I'm saying? Lonnie, I feel like you could call him because you're going to clap. You're going to, you know. That's you the love make he's looking positive. for is Lonnie love. Lonnie, you could call him. <laughs> I want that little uh, comb he had, that little <laughs> fist comb that he had, you know. No, I do this to my, again, bill collectors. I, get, I do this to them. Do not call me yes, with listen. no bad news uh, yes. at all. But I like, no, he's telling the truth. Yeah. It's like, it's about positivity. Yes. It's about doing things, you know. So I agree with him. I, I cracked up. I posted this on my Instagram. You did? And people was just like, Amen. People preach. understood why you wasn't answering that phone. <laughs> <laughs> now it all makes sense. Can anybody call you with anything you like people to call you with negativity to vent? Literally anything. I'm like, I am popular. <laughs> you know, it's a nice feeling. Because people aren't calling me with good nobody's calling me with good news these days. They're not? No. I called Hunty you did. over the weekend, oh. remember? We had a and little talk. He, and I said, Hunty? And he said, wrong number, wrong number. <laughs> I was like, wait, Hunter, it's Ronnie, it's Ronnie. I thought she said, she goes like this. She made it a lot clearer right now, but I get a call, it's early in the morning on like a Saturday, and she goes, Hunty. And I, was like, and I thought she said, hi, T. Like I thought someone named T, and I was like, wrong number, bye-bye. And she goes, no, 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 no. And I was so happy. I, I, almost, I almost did. I almost did. Oh, my did. God. He was, like, serious. All right, you guys, we got to take a break. But coming up, a two out to handle moment that will make you never want to share a shower again. That's bad news for Hunter because he just got to do a shower. Well, I'm sharing showers. <laughs> yeah. That's next. <laughs> So now
Netflix's Too Hot to Handle just returned for a second season. And the premise is simple. So you lose money if you take part in any type of sexual activity. Uh, but it's really a show about the importance of teamwork. You know my balls are in uh -huh. a dire situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to relieve myself. Let all the tension out and we'll deal with the, with the rule break after. You, you two leaving a bit angry in there, bus relax. I need to. How much do you think it's going to cost? Would I you think... rather spend three, I don't know, three, four, five grand doing it yourself, knowing then that you're not going to have an urge? It's a reset. Let's guard the door. Guard the door. Guard the door. Guard the door. We got, 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 got it. Wait, what did you do? Five minutes? Less than five minutes? Well enough. And now we're on watch. I don't know how we ended up with this girl. <laughs> what is happening? This is. Do so you know the concept of the show? So it's like, a, like they if they take part in any type of sexual activity, they're basically, they're docked money. From their, like, community pool that they win at the end of the season. Yeah. So oh. if they have sex with a girl, it's like 30 grand. But if he just masturbates, it's three grand. Yeah. Oh, my so God, I'd be so I guess broke. he's costing them... <laughs> a lot of money, I feel like the women would do better at holding out than the men. You'd be surprised. They're not casting you or Lonnie or <laughs> even me. <laughs> like they're it's like, we don't have sex. No, no, no. You guys have sex. They literally we have find, discipline, though. You have discipline. That's the thing. These women that they find, literally, they cast for a different show. And so in the interviews, they're like, so how often do you want to have sex, right. like, ideally? And oh. the girls go, like, they're all, like, British. They go, like, four to five times an hour. Oh. You know? And it's like, all right. You just had to use that accent. No, I just uh, said I wanted to show what the culture is like. That was good, Oh, boy. <laughs> that was really good. Do it again. Let's not get distracted. Five for Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> we all love a good deal, but TLC, so freaking cheap, is on a whole other level. And I'm so excited to talk about this because Hunter is one of the most frugal men I know. What? Uh, last night, Ashley decided to skip the spa and just use her mom's free labor. My mom comes over. Drop your pants. Once a month, and she gives me a wax. The wax that we use is made up of sugar, honey, and lemon. The honey that I get costs around 80 cents a jar. Lemon is 10 cents. And then for an entire bag of sugar, it costs a dollar. It really only costs me about $1 to get waxed every month. Okay, we're gonna rip two, three. Oh my That one hurt. <laughs> the poor the dog. dog is like, what are y'all doing? The dog is like, dog. that's your <laughs> mom. <laughs> cheap, cheap woman. I couldn't do this up with my mom. No, she would absolutely not. Damn question. Yeah, and we looking all down there and no. getting me worried. I'm like, no, that's okay. I'll just go to the profession. She's like, you need to get this mole checked out. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm not doing this. No, obviously not. I don't think this is one of those things where Nino's gonna be like, you know what? I'd give it a go. <laughs> you know, I don't feel like any of us would do this. This is like extremely one invasive and two very very cheap. Do, yeah. do it yourself at least. Yeah, I mean, there's there's technically home. you could get strips on you know Amazon yeah. that aren't that pricey and do it yourself. And I, I did eat all that honey and lemon and sugar. Yeah, so. I'm like that just sounds like you know sure that was that's like a face mask. <laughs> I did try to wax myself during quarantine. When we had quarantine. Oh, how did that work? It out? was not pretty. Well, what <laughs> it happens? was a disaster. What happens when you try and wax your It's very this the wax they give is really, really sticky. Yeah. So I needed a couple days to recover. <gasps> oh yeah, it was it was it's hard to pull it off when it's yeah. you know what's coming and you're doing it yourself. Yeah. You're like, I'll just leave these strips here. Yeah. Just walking around with the strips all over you. <laughs> The, the stomach to just pull a strip. I couldn't do it. All right, you guys, if you missed the latest 90 Day Fiance oh Happily Ever goodness. After, we got you because Julia oh. used to be a go-go dancer at a Russian nightclub. So she is hoping those skills will get her a job at her local gym. The premise of the class is you're doing strength training with dumbbells to strengthen the lower body muscles that you would use. And then the le next half of the class is you put the weights away and you actually do a little dance routine. All right. Hey, hey, hey. That actually looked great. The one thing um, you want to think about is we want to minimize going down to the floor. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not saying this wouldn't be a bad workout, but I don't know if it was for that gym. Oh, no, no, oh no, no, my no. God. That gym, I guarantee you, the base <laughs> audience is not her. And... <laughs> The idea of a woman putting her leg up to her head from behind like she did. This is going to be the class of like the most eyes. most broken hips in gym history. Yeah, they might want to put her at the
the front desk to, to just start out. You might That's just, a great... Maybe just register people. Definitely. I don't know. I don't think Ooh. people are going there for that. But yeah, oh, you never know. All of a sudden, a lot of guys being like, you know what I love, honey? The strength building <laughs> dance class they have. <laughs> at the, uh, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'm getting limber. I'm getting hard. I love this. I love the guy, the gym limber. instructor, by the way. This, this this poor gym instructor, or, or maybe the, he's the manager. Right? Look at those knees. I, I love them, them legs, honey. He ain't been outside in about three, four years, baby. He is the first man ever to wear jorts to the gym besides our producer, Seth. That's the worst outfit I can imagine wearing to the gym is you jorts. Me, it looks, Seth, you alone. It looks a little uncomfortable. I'm not going to lie for the gym. It looked a little uncomfortable, but <laughs> also, nice guy. Jorts got real tight. He's like, I haven't seen, I haven't seen a woman above a four in here since. <laughs> oh, would you stop it? Oh my 70s. gosh. <laughs> All right, you guys, we got to take another break, but coming up, a woman is mortified after ripping her pants <gasps> in public. Plus a fan causes a crazy crash. Police are on the hunt. Uh oh. Woo! So we saw a lot of crazy shit on the internet this weekend, and we could not wait to talk about it. So who is ready for? Dose of Toast! One of my favorite segments, I will say. Okay, a massive crash at the Tour de France is all over Twitter. Uh. So police have been on the hunt for this woman with a massive cardboard sign. She uh, could be sued for doing this. Near the front, watch him try to get around his teammate and go down. Oh, he might have... Clip that spectator. He went off the road. That yes. sign again, right there, left, Phil. Do your picture. Oh my! Oh my! Oh God. my goodness, May. Oh. oh. Why would you do oh. that? I, I am not. Know. Why? Why would you do this? She was trying to give a message to her mother, reportedly, and um, yeah, she gave a message. All right. Yeah, she gave a message. All right. <laughs> That's so. If what I was the mess. mom, I'd be like, that message was not for me. I don't know who this child <laughs> is. <laughs> Oh my God. I mean, at this point, you gotta turn yourself in, right? No, you leave forever. You get a new name. You move to Costa Rica like my dad did, which is why I think I think he's running from something. So I, I, <laughs> somebody's gonna report you. Somebody that knows you or who knows who you are, somebody's gonna snitch on you. It's so sad though, because she was being so innocent. Great. One of the guys that failed, he ended up um, getting back up and he he got in the first position. So it, it was, yeah, some of them didn't get back up, but there was one they, person yeah. who failed. It looked like some people rolled over his head a few times. It was. Oh, Oh, yeah. Some of them yeah. got really injured, so it's yeah. not... But that's yeah. just how good that they are. I feel bad, but I also think this is an appropriate time for the guillotine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ruined the Tour de France. All right, uh, let's move on to this woman's embarrassing fail. It happened while she was out shopping, and it left her mortified. As I'm browsing around the store, I feel a breeze in a place that I should not be feeling a breeze while wearing jeans. I walk to the nearest mirror and turn around, and what do I see? My whole ass crack is hanging out. <laughs> At some point, I ripped my jeans, and everybody was seeing my goodies. And the point is, like, I walked by so many people, and nobody <laughs> said a word to me. <laughs> it's like, this might be a new look. It was pretty good. It. That's going to be something they Maybe sell Maybe I'll develop this soon. for the Nita Parker collection, a little ass out jeans. I think that's you know, great. People mind their business. When they see people torn, they like, You know. never yeah. know. Yeah. I've seen some ri some rips in some interesting places in jeans, so you can't, you know. Would you rather, if, if you had a shirt and you had like a bra on underneath, take the shirt off and cover a big ass crack with no underwear? if you had to leave, or just go out with the big ass crack? Well, I had no options. I'm gonna probably leave the ass out, because these things, I'm gonna get arrested, child, walking around, <laughs> showing these things out we to everybody. We can make some money. I'll yeah. do a citizen's arrest. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Finally, a woman recently got out of the hospital, and she has a new lease on life. And let's just say that she makes us all want to go to church. And I'm walking. I may be walking slow, but I'm walking. Nevertheless, I may not be able to wear my four-inch heels, but two and a half will work right now. <laughs> but I got my flats in the back just in case. I'm on the right track because I got Jesus. He's giving us beauty for ashes. Stop running around in that ash. Get some Vaseline. Rub it on your heart. Rub it on your mind. Rub it on your spirit. Because you need to shine, sister shine. Shine, brother shine. Let me tell you something. Good. See, we 
Jonah took you to a black church. So you see how? Yeah. Look, 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 God. Look yeah, God. yeah. So right. I feel like That's you're already getting. Like. I think you're already getting chance. <laughs> I feel it. I just love that, you know, it's like talking like that would be insane in any other situation, except for the center of a church. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yeah. that's like the it's best normal, way to but talk. She was really ill in January. And so um, and six months later, she has progressed. And that's the reason why you feel this energy from yeah, her. Yeah, she's beautiful, by the way. Beautiful she 70s. is 70s. Beautiful. If you guys had to preach, mm -hmm. what would you what would you do your sermon on? Would it be about your house renovation? It would be. I bought this house. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't got no blinds. The two shower heads. <laughs> we got this white We're dealing with Hunter. <laughs> my shoes are the Help. same color as my skin. Help. Help. <laughs> We're out of time. I hope you guys felt the sermon. I felt that Holy Ghost coming to you. Oh. Lonnie was here. We were definitely blessed to have you today. I had a good time. Thank you. <laughs> We will see you guys tomorrow night. Make sure you're setting your DVRs. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.